Right, so you, I don't know if you also remember the set girls. The set girls were on the plantation, um, orchestrated to entertain the the bakramasa. Yes, so the women had to come out and dance for their um, <laughs> edification. And and there's a part of the, the ritual that they engaged in as a, a, a disguise because sometimes when they were planning um, rebellions and resistance and runaways and so on, they would use those occasions as cover for, uh, to distract from what the real um, operation was. And so even though they were supposed to be like these sex objects in these dances, they were also using it as a time, you know, of course, if you're engaged in back-breaking work for 14, 15, 16 hours a day. Dancing is a big relief. So, you know, it's sometimes what this woman called, Denise Candioti calls, bargaining with patriarchy in that sense. So it's bargaining with domination, bargaining with oppression, to, to carve out a little time for yourself. Just like how the, 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 the weekend markets was a time that was carved out for people to sell their own produce, to make their own money, to have their own time for themselves, their own bodies for themselves, for a little time. So we have to see these um, rituals in a, in a contradictory sense, in a, in a, in a kind of hybrid um, dual sense. What were people thinking of when they were um, working? They, they, people actually broke the, the, the machinery in order to make them not work, to give themselves a little time. And if you notice our engagement with rain, when rain falls, people don't want to go to work. And it's something in our collective memory that says that was the one little time that you'd get a little time for yourself, you know? It, 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 it has to do with also the resistance that young people have to agriculture because something in their memory says this is backbreaking, awful, soul-wrenching kind of work. And so there's this resistance to um, farming, even though it can sustain you, it could bring you food, but it is not that experience in our DNA. And we need, again, to expunge those kinds of um, hostilities because again I refer to the evidence coming out from epigenetic research and I'm in one of these groups in um, well it's based in the States now but they, they just produced a report on how it is that we have to start healing ourselves by going into our genes, into our DNA, into our memories, into our social practices and re-engineering ourselves because again the, the mass pattern that we have in Chicago, in um, the, the shanty towns of Brazil, in, in, in the ghettos of Kingston, the pattern is too similar in terms of our self-annihilation for it not to be significant why it is that we are imploding like this and so if you talk about the the the, the nine night as a, a space where we can channel that kind of reconnection then we should also um, develop other similar models and yes it has been a, a, a way that we translate into the parting because nine night used to go on from you know this time of the evening at dusk and it wouldn't end till daybreak and look at Pasa Pasa you're probably too young to know about Pasa Pasa but there you have it from Wednesday night into Thursday morning that similar you know um, all night ritual somehow our spiritual and our material selves exult in that kind of relief in that kind of release from the humdrum everyday hardships and, 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 and you create a sense of another space, another reality in that um, joy, jollification, whether it is the Rayton or the dance hall or, you know, the, 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 the nine night. Then we have a space. And that's the, the pity that we had all these lockdowns. You could imagine how people became frustrated at not being able to have that available. And so maybe people went a little bit overboard in partying just for that sense of release. They couldn't manage the lockdown. But there's something in our spirit that needs that kind of 
um, connection to music, to movement, to a sense of freedom that we have been um, denied for too long. Well, let me hear you say, Mom.